Hey y'all, TRG here and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be going over the tropics, specifically two hurricanes off the southeastern U.S. coastline that are ongoing and we'll be doing the Fujiwara effect over the next couple of days. Let's go right on into today's video. So starting out here with your GeoColor True Color Satellite Imagery provided by NOAA.gov Ghost Satellite Official Website. You can see we have Category 1 Hurricane Imelda off the southeastern U.S. coastline in this general area here. And then we have what is also Category 1 Hurricane on birthday though in this general vicinity here. Now you can't see it too well, but that little white blob right there is Bermuda. So thankfully Umberto is staying well off to the northwest and is expected to stay well off to the north northwest of Bermuda. But this was actually a category five hurricane with sustained winds of 160 miles per hour. I do think it was actually closer to 175 mile per hour sustained winds, but we didn't have recon in it for a full 48 so hours as it was peaking at category five intensity. So we never will, will never be able to know the true strength of what Umberto was just to the south of Bermuda a couple of days ago. And because Umberto was substantially stronger than forecasted, originally it was forecasted to barely hit category three. Our last update, I said possibly category four, and instead it just blew up into a very intense category five hurricane that has actually increased the Fujiwara effect out here. So our weak little system right here of Imelda, this was previously a tropical storm and even a tropical depression, whilst Umberto was a major hurricane. And because of that difference in strength, Umberto obviously has the stronger pull. So Umberto really, really helped pull Amelda away from the southeastern U.S. coastline, thankfully helping to turn it even faster. And we're not seeing those notable impacts we once were originally thinking may occur. So that's the current satellite imagery as of the time of I'm recording this, right about 3.30 Eastern. And that is just such a very rare satellite imagery picture there a category one hurricane and a category one hurricane both right next to each other off the southeastern u.s coastline just between bermuda and the southeastern u.s coastline ongoing doing that fujiwara effect and they'll continue to do that for the next couple days until eventually amelda becomes category two probably as it's making landfall or a very close landfall with hurricane force impacts expected for bermuda hurricane watches already up for the entire island of bermuda and because this system will be strengthening then Umberto is actually going to be the one that ends up weakening and actually merges with Imelda into a tropical storm uh, as this goes well off to the northeast of Bermuda. So uh, we're not going to be talking about um, Umberto for too much longer because Imelda is actually going to completely absorb Umberto as Imelda moves just to the northeast of Bermuda, either as a category one hurricane or as a tropical storm. Before we get on into the rest of today's video, I ask that you guys hit that like button, share this video with your family family, friends, social media to help spread weather awareness. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell set to all so you know when I go live or upload another video. Let's go right back on into today's video. So here's the official National Hurricane Center cone on Radar Omega. You could see Amelda forecasted to become a Category 2 hurricane either very close to or literally on top of Bermuda, whilst Umberto is passing to the north of Bermuda. And it's going to be Amelda that becomes our more dominant storm. Amelda will be Category 2 as Umberto will likely end up being a tropical storm. And so that's going to really just demolish Umberto. Umberto's moisture and all that energy will go into Amelda. And then Amelda is actually going to be weakening at that time and most likely they will weaken into a category one maybe a tropical storm as this leaves Bermuda moves off well to the northeast of Bermuda sometime as we go into either the middle or latter portion of this week so probably October 2nd or 3rd this is really going to be rapidly rapidly weakening and it will probably end up being subtropical by the end of this week sometime on probably Friday all right, let's take a look here at the 12Z GFS model run. So here is Amelda. Here is Umberto. You can see Amelda is going to be strengthening over just the next few hours here. Likely going to be a Category 2 hurricane sometime tomorrow afternoon. As a front begins to impact Umberto and Amelda, that's really going to tear apart Umberto. Amelda is going to make landfall as a Category 2 hurricane or barely miss Bermuda as a Category 2 hurricane sometime tomorrow night into very early Thursday morning, whether it be landfall fall or not. Either way, Bermuda, you're going to see hurricane force impacts out of Amelda, even if it barely goes to the north or south of you. But right now, a lot of our models have a landfall on Bermuda or just barely, I mean 
barely north of Bermuda. So please prepare for hurricane impacts if you are in Bermuda. And again, that will be tomorrow evening all the way through Thursday early morning. By the time we get into Thursday afternoon towards 2 p.m., Amelda is rapidly weakening into a subtropical storm. Umberto is long gone. Umberto will dissipate north of Bermuda sometime tomorrow evening. And then by the time we get into Friday, most likely Amelda will be a subtropical storm and we really won't have to be, to be talking about it much after that. Amelda is just going to be a subtropical storm out there spinning in the subtropical Atlantic. And then after that, there's really not a whole lot to discuss. Now, we are watching a few little areas for development here. If we go all the way out till about Saturday, Sunday, there's a chance we get a little bit of some frontal interaction with some tropical moisture off the coastline of Florida and Louisiana. I don't think that will end up being a tropical storm or even a tropical depression, but it is something to worth note if you are on the beaches there in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Western Florida, sometime Sunday afternoon. Yeah, really Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Probably going to end up with some isolated heavy rain, some very isolated local flash flooding, maybe the isolated gusty winds, but it really shouldn't be anything of note uh, in terms of like a tropical storm or tropical depression. Just a little low pressure that might be able to spin up some isolated wind gust and isolated flash flooding. Then as we go into Monday and Tuesday, we are going to begin to watch. This is next week, by the way, about a week from today. We are going to start watching a tropical wave out here in the main development region. That's about 160, 170 hours out. But really, no models have concrete development with this. The GFS kind of takes it into the Northern Caribbean and then into a frontal boundary there into a cold front and it ends up barely spinning up into a tropical storm. But really no models are uh, confident in any type of tropical development out of this little main development region wave here going into the early and middle portion of next week. And then anything further out from that, we just have a bunch of uncertainty. So nothing worth looking at there for the rest of the GFS. I will go ahead and show you guys the Canadian model model run just so we have one other opinion obviously we already know what's going to happen with Amelda and Umberto that's pretty much locked in there you can see the CMC does have Amelda maybe barely off to the north of Bermuda for uh, a very close landfall but possibly not a direct landfall but again either way uh, Bermuda you're going to see hurricane force impacts there that little frontal boundary see if anything comes out of the CMC model you can see some isolated heavy rain maybe some very isolated gusty winds as especially in far southeastern Alabama, far southwestern Mississippi. But nothing tropical really develops, not even remotely close to a low pressure uh, there like the GFS had. It is a little bit later, though. It has a different low pressure coming in. This is Tuesday, so this is actually later than the GFS. This has a little low pressure spinning up on the coastline of Florida there next Tuesday week from today. And then our main development region wave out there. And it really doesn't show any development with that main development region wave. Still might be something to watch if you are out there in the uh, Lesser Antilles. Just keep an eye on that main development region wave. I don't think it'll be anything you know crazy, but it doesn't hurt just to keep an eye on it just in case. So I do want to just go back to the GFS really quick here. Because uh, the GFS, yeah, the GFS is spinning up that system differently here. So this is right here. This is that little low pressure the Canadian model run wants to make quote, landfall per se in Mississippi, whereas the GFS spins it up off of a, uh, what looks to be probably a cold front. Yeah, probably a cold front just on the end of your high pressure going into this weekend. And the European model run also does want a little bit of heavy rainfall on the coastal areas of Louisiana, maybe some isolated gusty winds. So overall, with both of these little low pressures, whether it be on sa Saturday or the one on Tuesday, it's going to be very isolated gusty winds and some very isolated and very local flash flooding and heavy rainfall, mainly to just coastal areas, probably in Louisiana and Alabama and Mississippi. Again, nothing to worry about, but just something to note going into Sunday. If you have any plans along the beach, it could be very well rained out. Taking a look here at our AI Google ensembles because they have been absolutely nailing it this year, not only in the Atlantic, but also in the Western Pacific as well. And you could see pretty much no tropical development in the Gulf out of those two waves. Again, they're likely just going to be a little bit of low pressures, very isolated gusty winds, very isolated flash flooding Sunday and maybe even Tuesday. That main development region wave, a little bit of confidence 
evidence there from the AI Google models of some tropical storm development. Again, if you're in the northern Lesser Antilles, it doesn't hurt just to watch this, but most likely if any development does come out of it, it's probably just going to go out to sea. So overall, really not a whole lot to uh, worry about in the tropics other than if you're in Bermuda. If you're in Bermuda, again, get ready for those hurricane force impacts really beginning probably tomorrow afternoon and lasting all the way through Thursday early morning. Keep an eye out on the coastal areas of Louisiana, Western Florida for isolated flash flooding from those two very weak low pressures, both Sunday and going into Tuesday. Watching the main development region for the chance of a recurving tropical storm. But overall, a lot of this is just something we want to keep an eye on and nothing to really worry about outside of Hurricane Amelda heading towards Bermuda going into tomorrow night. So actually, I just saw this update from the National Hurricane Center and they have went ahead and issued hurricane warning now for Bermuda. So if you're in Bermuda, that is a hurricane warning in effect for you now, meaning hurricane conditions are expected in the next 48 hours. And if you go ahead and take a look at the NHC's cone, you can see they do have this passing just north of Bermuda, barely, barely north of Bermuda. So Bermuda still want to prepare for the potential of a landfall, but it looks like this might barely stay just a couple miles to your north. But even again, in that case, you're still likely going to end up with hurricane force wind speeds and hurricane force wind gusts there in Bermuda. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I greatly appreciate you watching all the way until the end. I apologize for the lack of uploads recently. Lucky came over here on Saturday all the way through Monday. We met Reed Timmer on Sunday there in Northwestern South Carolina. So I was very, very busy. I apologize I didn't stream with Lucky being here. We try our best to, but just didn't have enough time to this weekend. So I greatly apologize for that. Not really a lot happening outside of Imelda. So I'm not sure when the next tropical update or any update for a video or live stream wise will be. But uh, either way, have a great rest of your Tuesday. Stay safe. Watch for your weather. And uh, tomorrow's October, which is absolutely insane. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.